everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about one of the most frustrating things about using streaming devices like the Amazon Fire Stick, and that is buffering. You're watching your favorite sporting event, your favorite movie, your favorite TV show, and it just keeps buffering. Well, I might have a solution for you. I'm gonna share with you today three ways that you're going to be able to increase speed of your Fire Stick to eliminate those buffering problems. And I'm gonna share that with you right now. All right guys, so before we get into ways to eliminate buffering on your Amazon Fire Stick, I'm gonna share with you some of the reasons why you might be getting buffering. So the first being you might have a lot of programs running at once and you don't even know it. So I'm gonna share with you first how you can eliminate that. Secondly, it could be your Wi-Fi speed. There's a couple different things that go into Wi-Fi speed. It could be the actual speed of your Wi-Fi or it could be the stability based on location of your Fire Stick. It could be in another room from your router and that's causing some problems. So we're gonna cover all of those things. I'm gonna share with you how you can increase stability, how you can increase your speed of your Fire Stick, and then also how you can increase the processing of your Fire Stick right now. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the easiest and the least expensive way to go, and that is to make sure that you're not running a bunch of programs at the same time, and you may not even realize it. So there's a free program that you can get, and I've shared this on one of my older videos, but it is called Background Apps and Process List. This app you will need on your Fire Stick to be able to do what I'm gonna share with you. How do you get it on your Fire Stick? It's very simple, you just go to the very top, and you go to the little, uh, search engine right there and you're going to type in background that's all you have to type in and it will pull up there it is it's the second one down here so just type in background it'll pull up background processes is what you want when you click on it it'll look like this go ahead and click it and download it you're going to want that on your fire stick and i'm going to share with you why so let's go ahead and open it up and see what it's all about so when you first open it up, it's going to analyze your system. I already had done that on here. So it pulled up that I'm running three things at the same time. So I'm running Oreo TV, YouTube, HUTV, and of course the downloader app. So all four of these are running and that's it. Guys, I keep my Fire Stick clean because I want it to run and I want it to run really well. I'd be willing to bet that most of you try this test, you're gonna have 5, 10, 20, 50. When I did my other video, somebody actually commented that they had 100 running and they were so frustrated with their Fire Stick before watching this video that they had it in their junk drawer and they hadn't used it for months. They saw my video on this particular program and now it's running like it's brand new. You don't realize it, but if you don't force close all your apps when you're done with it, any app on your Fire Stick, it will continue to run. It'll take up data off of your internet. It will also slow down your Fire Stick and it will cause buffering. Believe it or not, running multiple programs, it's the processing of the speed of your Fire Stick that might be causing a lot of those buffering issues. So that's the number one. Really simple, guys. Just get this app, let it analyze it. It is called Background Apps and Process List. I'd be willing to bet that will help many of you right there. Let's talk All right now. The second thing you can do to increase your speed and minimize buffering is to get a Wi-Fi extender. This is probably the easiest route to go. It works very simple, guys. All you do is you plug it in to the nearest socket to your Fire Stick. So when you first get it, you'll need to go to your router and you need to press a button. Once you press that button and you sync the two together, you're gonna bring it into the room where your Fire Stick is or wherever your slowest Fire device or Android device is and you're gonna plug it into that outlet. It's going to give you a little login that you're gonna put into your Fire Stick inside of here um, and that will that's how you connect to it. But guys, a lot of times you don't realize it but your speed is what the problem is. So a Wi-Fi extender will actually increase your speed significantly. And I found that once I plugged one of these Wi-Fi extenders, and I'll put the link to this one down in the description. This is the best one you can get. This is the Rock Space one. It, uh, it's without question the fastest. There's cheaper ones out there, but if you want something good and you want a stable, fast service, this is what you want to do. So, and once I plug this one into the furthest room, the bedroom, uh, the kid's bedroom in the very far corner of the house, constantly buffering, couldn't watch any cartoons, nothing. And so once we put that in there, 
boom, worked every time. So this is a good solution for some of you and it's probably one of the easier ones, but it is the most expensive of all the options because this one here I think is around the $40 to $50 range for the good one. And you can get the lower end one if you have a slower speed to start with. But I have the Giga Blast, so I want the fast one. So this is the second solution and an actual Wi-Fi extender. And again, I'll put a link in the description on how you can get one of these. All right, and the third thing you can do to increase speed of your Fire Stick and eliminate buffering is to make sure that you have the most stable possible signal. Let me show you where you can find out how stable your signal is. If you head up here to settings, right up here, you're gonna go down here to network. And this is where you're gonna be able to see your signal strength. As you can see, I'm fair. That's not good. Um, you, I Now I'm good, it just popped to good. But it bounces between good and fair. Most of the time when I use this, and without question, you want this to be very good, excellent, something in that range. And again, one of these extenders will do that for you. But in order to get the best stability of your Wi-Fi is going to be an Ethernet cable. And I know not everybody has the ability to do an Ethernet cable to your router, but you can get a little adapter. And I'll put the link in the description for that as well. I have it on all of my main sticks. I have it automatically hardwired in. Of course, this one I do not because I'm doing this as a demonstration, but all my main ones that I use, we have ethernet connected. It is so much faster. It's definitely the way to go. So if you if that's not an option, that's where the Wi-Fi extender comes in. But if you have it ethernet connected, and I'll put a link to the video on how to do that because I've done another video on it already. But if you, I'll put it right in the corner up here. But if you don't have a really good signal strength, the stability of it, if it's bouncing between fair, good, or poor, you're gonna get it where it cuts out, where you lose sound, where your picture freezes. And you've probably, many of you have probably experienced that. Well, that is not necessarily the speed of your internet, but the connectivity between your internet to your Fire Stick. So two choices for that is, again, the Wi-Fi extender, or you can do the ethernet adapter. Uh, with the ethernet cable right in. If you're close to the router, that might be the best route to go. Again, this is just for the Fire Stick. Android devices are a little bit different because they can handle a little bit faster speeds and a lot of them have a better antenna that you can actually connect a little bit stronger to your Wi-Fi. So Android devices is a different animal altogether and I'll be doing videos on how to eliminate buffering on those as well. A lot of times with Android buffering, it's really the source. And I think a lot of you realize that the source is probably the most important. If you're watching a movie or a TV show or a sporting event, the source might be the cause of your buffering. But I'm sharing with what you can do on your end to eliminate that buffering and have a better Fire Stick experience. If you like this video and you learned something today, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you think about it. I appreciate you guys watching my videos and continue to support our channel. Bye. I just want to give a big thank you to those of you that took time out of your day to watch this video. If you'll do us a huge favor, if you haven't already done so, just hit that subscribe button right next door. And if you like this video and you want to see more, we have a video on the far side there we think you're going to love. Thanks again for watching our video. 